Well, hello again, Star Wars and G.I. Joe action figure fans and collectors, and also fans of action figure customs. This is Lucas Clones. I'm CHA1MAN2 on YouTube. Um, I haven't done a video in quite some time, and uh, I've been kind of bad about that, and I admit it. Uh, I'm going to get back into doing videos here, hopefully. It's just that I've been uh, really very busy with everything, so please bear with me, but um, I do have a few things to show you today. I have a lot to show you, but just a few things for today. Um, what you're looking at right here is a couple of works in progress. I have a um, super articulated uh, Commander Gree. Not that the past one was super articulated, but this one is based on the newer sculpt of the, the uh, uh, clone trooper here. Basically, it's a uh, Attack of the Clones clone. But what's interesting here, and I'll try to get it into the video as much as possible, is that um, I have had to custom sculpt the chest pieces. And so this is a new thing for me. Uh, and also on the leg here, this this pouch and uh, um, strap here, I I sculpted. Uh, this is a new thing for me, and it's something that I've been meaning to get into for a while, is sculpting. I am a huge fan of uh, Sith Fire 30. I think his work is just the pinnacle for customizers. I don't even call his work customs. His is work as art, but... Um, uh, I, you know, in, in doing the podcast that we did with him last year, uh, and listening to his process, and also watching his blog... Um, I decided to take it upon myself to try uh, my hand at sculpting a little bit here. And so what you see is the um, shoulder armor, the straps, this extra armor here, the strap as well, going all the way around to the back. And I know I painted it, so it's kind of hard to see. This is not sculpted. This is an extra thermal detonator pouch. And then also the... Uh, pouch with the strap here. That's all been hand sculpted by me. Um, eh, it's alright I guess. I mean, only my second attempt at sculpting, uh, so I'm pretty happy with it. I'll turn that light off there and you can see it a little bit better, hopefully. Um, so anyhow, that's a new thing for me, and uh, obviously he's not finished yet. I got a quite a bit left of work to do. I'm going to have to reshape his head and so forth and so on to get him to look more like Gree. And uh, I'm going to buzz his hair down here. And then uh, I'm going to sculpt his double mohawk on because I want this Gree to have double mohawk. Um, but he's he'll be uh, pretty cool when I'm done. Uh, and I'm just going to add on the radio backpack from the original Gree. I have it here. Let's see. There it is. I'm just going to add that on there. That should look pretty good. He should be pretty good to go. I'm going to give him the new Clone Trooper Blaster, too, so that he has a nice new um, backpack. Alright, let's see what else I got cooking up here. This is going to be uh, Lieutenant Blitz, or Commander Blitz, or whatever. Um, in the realistic style, obviously he will be re-sculpted and reshaped, even though I have no idea what Blitz looks like. I will have some fun making up what he looks like there. But the pauldron is made. I just have to paint it. Uh, he'll have the gauntlet. And I'm co coming up with a few ideas on how to do his comma, which is very complex, complicated. Um, if you see the Clone Wars one here, I'm going to have to figure out how to paint cloth to look like that. Um, yeah, I'm interested in how to do that, actually, so that's up and coming, and what do we have back here? We have a few more, uh, hold on, let me go. I did do, I have been working on Wave 2, and this is a little sneak peek, I don't usually do this, but a little sneak peek here of Wave 2 for 2012, a few things back here. These these figures are mostly completed. Uh, there's probably a little, a few little tweaks. Let me scoot everybody over and get them all in the shot. 
All right. So, so far we have a um, improved Fordo, uh, a improved or a uh, Alpha 17, which will also have a Phase 2 helmet. I just haven't gotten around to doing the Phase 2 helmet. Uh, this is Commander Bly, Marshal Commander Bly, I should say. The only thing left to do really on him is I've got to paint his head, modify and paint his head to look more like Bly. It was interesting trying to, and he actually has a phase one helmet. Let me show you that too. He's got both. My phase one and phase two. So he's like a little mini sideshow. You know, as best as I can emulate sideshow's quality in a three and three quarter inch format. I don't have swappable hands or anything like that, obviously, but I did make the comma and I'm pretty proud of that out of unbleached muslin. Uh, I think it looks pretty hot pretty awesome. Missing his sidearms there, but so there you go. Let me give you a look at Alpha 17 because Alpha 17 has my ex absolute first bit of sculpting work and hopefully his head will come out. There we go. So his flat top there, this is a Fordo head, um, but his hair has been completely re-sculpted by me. I'm pretty proud of the result. I think it looks pretty good. I'm thinking of putting the white streaks here and here and he's going to get some scars. Alpha 17 has some scars. So he'll be getting that. And um, the comma has been repainted blue with a lighter blue line on it to make it look more like Alpha 17. And he will be getting a Phase 2 helmet. I just haven't gotten to it now. Probably the most detailed figure that I've done so far for Wave 2 is Keeley. And this is uh, mostly completed. I have a few tweaks here and there, but he's looking pretty good. Uh, clone Captain Keeley. I think it's Captain. Of course, if you know better, you can correct me in the comments below. Um, wow. He was uh, he was actually uh, not too difficult to do. It was mostly just repaint the figure. Uh, the comma just dyed it black and so forth and so on. And then obviously had to redo the head there. Get him in there. Redo the head and paint it. Alright, now last up is a shout out to Kando Epic. I think is what that says there. Um, I haven't gone to check it out yet, and, and uh, I'm not. I have not been neglecting, but I am planning on going and checking out. But this guy here sent me this. It's a little Clone Wars custom figure, and I think he's pretty awesome. And uh, one thing though, I am sorry I lost the the uh, uh, custom blaster that you made to go with him. He's a, it's around here somewhere. Uh, it's just you can see how cluttered everything is. It's around here somewhere. Uh, just to give you a little look. My area is a little cluttered, a little busy. But uh, I really appreciate this. Uh, this is something that I never would expect anyone to do is to make a custom figure and send it to me. There's the head with the cool little... I guess it's a tattoo because it's not red like a scar. And I believe that is a heavy head? I want to say a heavy head? Yeah, wrong helmet. Uh, really cool custom. Uh, definitely keep it up, man. You're doing a good job. And uh, I hope to... Uh, I'm going to go on your YouTube channel and subscribe and uh, check out whatever else work you've done, but nice work on this. Looks fantastic. You would think that that Fordo Phase 2 helmet would be too big, but it's working pretty good for me. So anyhow, that's going to do it for uh, this video, and uh, you know, stay tuned. I'm, I'm trying to do better about posting videos, uh, but uh, until next time, may the Force be with you, and Yojo, bye-bye.